Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you my introduction for the Graveyard Project Pan. This is a project that was created by Emily over at Emily and Max here on YouTube. I think this is my third or fourth year doing this project. This introduction is going up a bit late. I kind of forgot to pick items for this project. I was like, oh my gosh, it's time for that project to go live. So I don't know if I'm going to get it up on the 30th or the 1st or the 2nd. I'm filming it on the 30th, so if it goes up, it's gonna go up late today, this evening, <laughs> uh, or I may be able to get it up on the first or second. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I did pull some items out. I was kind of hesitant to do this project, to be honest, because I'm working on so many products. So I wanted to make sure I was pulling in items that were not competing with other things that I'm working on in the projects that I already have things picked out for. And I think what I have here is actually gonna work out pretty well. I have six items, six items I'm gonna work on. So Emily breaks up this project into two different categories. The first are resurrection products, and these are ones that were in previous project pans, you know, whether they were in for just usage goals or to finish. And then the second category is collecting, co collecting cobwebs. <laughs> and those are products that are close to expiration in your collection. So I think I put these items together so quickly. I don't really remember which which categories categories they go into. I would say all but one are resurrection, but they're all like collecting cobwebs. So I'm going to focus on six and I don't think I'm going to be rolling in items over the next six months. This project does go through uh, Halloween of this year just because again I'm working on so many things I want to focus on these and then leave it at that anyway the first item I have is a powder this is La Mer's the powder I use this to buff and I'm not going to set a usage goal or anything on this and there's no way I'm gonna be able to finish it. The powder is all the way here. So I'm rolling this in just to, just to use every day and I'm going to weigh it. In fact, let me get my scale out now. We'll see how much it weighs. It's currently at 275 grams. So we'll see how much usage I get with this over the course of this project. I will keep weights on it on a monthly basis. The next item I have is an eyeshadow from this Lorac Shine Bright palette. This was my Dude You Panned My Battleship palette. And I'm going to roll in the shade Cosmic, which is here. And I want to see how close I can get to finishing it. I don't think I'm going to finish it, but I'm going to work on it. I really need a dark outer corner, like shimmer shade. This isn't the best shimmer, but it is kind of a satin. So I think I can use it in the outer corner. So well, it's kind of a crummy swatch. But anyway, there's the shade. So we'll just see how, I mean, my goal is going to be to finish it, but I don't think I'm going to finish it. We'll see. Next item I have is probably the only one that was not in a project. This is a concealer by Urban Decay. It's the last one of these I have other than a color corrector. The Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is way discontinued. I shouldn't say this is the last one. I have another one I'm working on, but it's almost finished. This is like the only one that I have that is a concealer that still has the stopper in. <laughs> I am using this right now, but I do wanna get some good use on this. And I don't know that I'll be able to finish it in six months, but I'm going to try. This has five mils. I think I'll be able to finish it. I, I think about it. five mils is not a lot of product considering like the Lancome concealer has 13 grams and the one or mils. Yeah, this is five mils. The Lancome concealer has 13 mils. Tarte Shape Tape has 12. So I, I'm, I'm gonna roll it into finish. We'll see how that goes. I don't have another concealer that I'm working on that's dark like that. The next item I have is a lip product. This is a, I think this is the Gen Nude Lipstick by Bare Minerals. The shade is XOX. I contemplated saving this for a beauty A to Z for next year, but I was like, don't do that. Just finish it for the letter X. Cause I've, I've had that in that project before for the letter X. Anyway, I'm rolling this into finish. You can see there's that much left in here. Not a ton. I feel like I can get this finished. It's a really pretty color for spring, summer. So we'll see how that goes. 
The fifth item I have is from Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade Champagne Pop. I would love to finish this. I have no idea where I am in this, but you can see I used to keep my marks here. It's so old and this packaging is all grimy. I just want this to be gone, gone. So I'm working on a like base illuminator right now that I'm almost like I've almost met my goal on. I'm sorry, my words are not coming out properly. Get out. So once I do that, I'll focus 100% on this and I really would love to get this out of my collection and finished. And the last item I'm working on, I want to say this may have been in this project last year or wait, was it? I'm looking at it right now. Yes, it was. It was in this project last year and I, I'm going to try to work on finishing this. And I think what I don't finish, I'm I'm going to consider this done. This is the Stila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Freedom. So here is the packaging. And I do have really good progress on this. This is currently really dried out. So, I mean, And that was my problem last year. So what I'm going to do, and I'm gonna do it right now, I actually have a little thing to put it in. I'm going to decant this, add some eye drops or saline solution, and I'm gonna keep it in this, hopefully this is more airtight, and try to finish what I can, and then whatever I can't finish, I'm calling it done. So I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna take out the stopper and see what we can do here. Oh, there's a lot more in here than I thought there would be. Dang it. All right, I'm mixing it up now. There's a ton of product that was left in there. All right, let's see how this looks. It's kind of like um, patchy is the word I want to use. That's a little better. If it's a little dried out. It, if it's a little less... Uh, wet than what I made it. It's a little bit easier to maneuver. There we go. So really pretty. I am going to show you guys how much is in here. So it's quite a bit. Let me clean out this edge here. So we're going to see how much progress I can do with this pigment. But like I said, whatever I don't use, I I'm going to, I'm probably gonna consider this done. Now I may change my mind because if this holds up well in this type of packaging, I may end up continuing to use it until it's finished, but we will see. For right now, this is considered done. I don't know if this applies better with the with this thing. I'm just gonna see. Eh, maybe, I may keep this around to help me with application. Anyway, that is it for this intro. My apologies for it going up late. And thank you to Emily for bringing this project back. It's always a fun one. Anyway, that is gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Now Emily switch it. Emily, oh my gosh. The next item I have is from, an. I this was my, did you pay my balance? Sh do you pay shark tape tape? I've almost put my goal on a product, another product. Okay, bye.